cut down some trees on our property. Uh, in previous videos, people have been wondering why we're cutting them down. And um, they are standing in the middle of our pasture. We have so many trees um, all around us. We even leave a lot of old trees. We really take care of our forest well. But these ones will have to go because, um, you know, in, in a circle, diameter of probably 40 meters nothing is growing no grass nothing because the trees are sucking out all the moisture and shading it been cold sub-zero for a few months but the thing is that snow is insulating the ground so much that if we brought a heavy forest machine in I'm afraid it would really break our pasture so I just want to see if we can pull out these thicker logs and they're quite short because that's the length the industry wants them um, but if we can pull them out with our tiny coyote tractor so I'm going to try to use this old tool here um, that they used with the horses where you grab the log like this and then you pull it with it we'll see how that works and um, if the tractor is able to pull this in this deep snow Okay, so it is able to pull the log, but you see how deep the snow is, and it's quite heavy. It's hard for this little tractor to work the way through the snow here. And uh, basically the tires have to push away the snow, dig away the snow, and get some grip on the ground so it can uh, actually move forward.
I'm not getting up a hill. Usually for um, the times when we cut down these big logs, we get forest machines. This is just sensitive because it's on the pasture and I don't want the pasture destroyed. As you can see, it's still um, quite soft here. The heavy machines will just sink right through there. Let's give it one more try with a smaller log and then I won't do any more if that doesn't work. This seems to be working better. Much better. Let's see. So this went much better, it took me about 4 minutes. I'm still not getting up the last part of the hill but that's okay, I can, if the forest machine can just drive a few meters onto the field then uh, that's okay. We can fill in those broken parts of the pasture again but um, then these 200 yards here I can just pull the locks there. been working and driving out logs and this works quite well obviously it takes a bunch of time but that's what I have right now in the winter time really want to save this pasture and not have it be broken from the forest machine so I'm gonna pull out those last logs there and uh, yeah I think once again this tractor has proven to do more than you would expect from it well, I see you in the next video, guys.